Say, what are you doing? Nine, nine, nine. Oh, one thousand. Oh, sorry about that. Just doing my workout for the afternoon. I want you to know about negative numbers, Sid. Oh, brilliant. It's a good job I've got this ready on the board then, isn't it? Welcome to another Mr. Holt Math session revamped. We're going to look at addition of negative uh, numbers and subtraction. So we're going to kick off with some basic rules. What we need to know is 3 plus 7. Well, we, I'm sure most of us know how to do this, but we just need to be aware that the plus means that we're going to go up the number line. 3 plus 7 is 10. Because we're going to start at 3, we're going to go 7 higher. A little bit trickier taking away. And we've got 6 take away 8. Common misconception here. People will put the answer as 2. Is that right? Of course it's not right. Because what people are doing in their head is 8 take away 6. Not correct. We start at 6. We take away 8. So we're going smaller. And then we're going to end up at minus 2 or negative 2 if you want to be proper. Now we're going to look at the trickier bits. 3 plus minus 7. Now, when we've got two signs that are the same um, or different, there are certain rules. But they have to be together like this. And on this case, we've got a positive and a negative. That becomes negative. So we do 3 take away 7, so we're going down the number line, and that's going to be negative 4. Have well, a look at this one. We've got a positive and a negative together again. It doesn't matter which way around they are. It comes a minus. 6 take away 8 becomes minus 2 because we're going smaller from 6. We're going down the number line. We've also got a special case. Well, we have this. A lot of people get confused here. We've got minus 7 plus minus 3. Don't be afraid. I can see some people are afraid. Don't be afraid. Same rule applies. Got a plus and a minus together. Becomes a minus. Minus 7. Take away 3. So we're going even smaller. So imagine it was negative 7 degrees on a cold day. And it went colder 3. It's going to go to minus 10. So it's going smaller. That's where a lot of people make mistakes. Please be careful with that one. Lastly now, another one here. Signs are the same. So on this one, what do you think we have to do? Last time, plus and a minus, when they became a negative. This time, it's going to become positive. So 3 plus 7, we can all do 3 plus 7. 10. Got two minuses again, becomes a positive. 6 plus 8, that's right people, 14. And of course, being mathematicians, there's always a special case. So let's get it involved. We've got the minus before it. Again, don't be afraid. It's the same thing. Circle the bits that are together. Turn it into a plus. Minus 7 plus 3. Now, this is where people make mistakes. It's minus 7 degrees outside. It's a cold day. <laughs> cold day. It gets hotter by 3 degrees. It's going to be minus 4. Just need to make sure we're practicing our number lines. And that's it. That's it in a nutshell. And that's it from me. I hope you have a great day. That's another one from me, Mr. Hallmaster. See you later. Peace, mate.